When I did GCSE, Religious Education, half of the syllabus and half of the exam marks were all based on the Book of Mark. So we spent two years going through it, and much of what was said and discussed I can remember now more than 30 years later. Our RE teachers seemed to have a strange mix of views which consisted of accepting some of what the Bible said, questioning some of it, and dismissing some of it, which made for some interesting discussions. And I can remember what was said about this particular passage. He said that all the hallmarks of what the boy was displaying were of epilepsy. And he did away with any suggestion that this was demon possession. That's not what the Bible's saying though. So if we look at this, in verse 17, the boy's father says that the boy is possessed by a spirit. In verse 20, Mark tells us that it's a spirit. In verse 25, Jesus spoke directly to it as a spirit and gave us some more detail on what type of spirit it was, deaf and mute. In verse 28, after the event, the disciples referred to it as a spirit and asked Jesus why they couldn't cast it out. So the boy's father, Mark the author, Jesus himself and the disciples are all referring to it as a spirit. And there's no suggestion that this is epilepsy or anything else. So that highlights for me the differences that there can be in other people's interpretations of the Bible and what the Bible is actually saying. And the challenge for us then is, well, what are we being influenced by? If we take other people's interpretations of the, the scriptures as steering us, then sooner or later, we are going to be steered away from what the Bible is actually saying, as what happened to me all those years ago. So these videos are great. They're a really good supplement to reading the Bible and interpreting it ourselves not a substitute for reading the Bible and interpreting it ourselves. And there's a challenge for us all.